All right, peace and love to the saints who are watching this video. Um, the title of this video is, how is so-called Jesus, we'll say so-called, but how is the Messiah coming back? So I'm gonna dive straight into it. So a lot of people think the skies are gonna crack and then you know you're gonna see something, but let's see what the scripture says. So first off, let's start with this. Know ye not that the temple of God and the spirit of God dwelleth in you. So that's the first thing we got to start with. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy it, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Check that out. The spirit of God dwells in you. That's the temple. Right? So let's go to the words of the Messiah, Luke 17, 21. This is concerning the kingdom. Neither shall they say, Lo here, look in the sky, or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So we just see a direct parallel, right? <laughs> or an intercession. Um, the kingdom of God is within you, and the spirit of God is within you. So what does that tell you? But well, let's continue, right? So as we see in Revelation 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, so be it. Right? So just reading this, you would think, right? But we just read in Luke 17 that you're not going to be saying low here. Or low there. So what does he really mean? This is Jude in verse 12. Right? These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Check this out. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees who fruit withered without fruit twice dead plucked up by the roots you see the parables not only are they compared to clouds but they're compared to trees and many more things if you actually read the book of jude so as you can see here men are referred to as clouds <laughs> right and then the spirit of god is within you so let's get to the root of it right the kingdom is within the spirit is within you the spirit is the kingdom so let's check this out, right? Let's see where I want to go to next. All right, so Paul, let's go to 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up, caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Most High in the air. And so shall we ever be with the most high. What does Paul mean by that? We shall be caught up to the clouds. Well, he broke this down beautifully in 1 Corinthians 15 and 42 through 44 and many other more. We're going to bring some of them out. So this is, he's speaking on the resurrection and what happens when, let's just read. We we'll start at verse 42. So uh, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 42. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It's talking about your mortal body and raised in incorruption, right? Spiritual body. It is sown in dishonor, mortal body, earthly body that you're looking at right now and raised in glory, spiritual body. It is sown in weakness, earthly. It is raised in power, spiritual. Take that out. It is raised in glory. So you're going to have a glorified body. The spirit that dwells in you is going to be glorified. You're going to be called up to the clouds, which are the angels. <laughs> Not literally, right? Not earthly. Let's, let's not think earthly right now. He's speaking parably. Called up to the clouds to meet the most high in the air. It is sown in a natural body. It is raised in a spiritual body. 
there's a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Check that out. So you have my, you're looking at my earthly body, but inside of me, there's a spiritual body. But check this out. I'm going to go to Philippians 3 and 21 because he broke this down beautiful. It's plain right here. Philippians 3 and 21. Who shall change our vow body, your earthly body, that is maybe that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. What's his glory, glorious body? His spiritual body. According to the work whereby he is able even to subdue all things to himself. Man, I can't. I mean, that's that pretty much sums it up. You know? So, I mean, we can keep going though. Right? So, 1 Corinthians 10. Moreover, brethren... I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud. Check this out. And all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. He's going over what happened when they came, when the Israelites came out of Egypt. And did all eat the same spiritual. Wait a minute. Now he's saying spiritual. So now I have to say this is spiritual. Because he said the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink. Check that out. For they drink of that spiritual rock in their end. Uh, Salaki, I'm sorry. For they drink of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was the Messiah. Check that out. Um, So it was a spiritual cloud, which was the Messiah. And they ate that spiritual meat. Came from the Messiah. And they drank their spiritual drink. Came from the Messiah. And, <laughs> and for they drink of that spiritual meat. And that, and <laughs> for they drink of that spiritual rock. That water. The living water. That followed them. And that rock was the Messiah. That's plain. So you're getting called up to a spiritual cloud. Meaning you're getting called up to the Holy Spirit. Your Heavenly Father. That is already within you. Right? So how is he coming back? Behold, he cometh with clouds. That also said that. Let's check out some more. Let's prove it even further. Matthew 26. And 64. The Messiah said unto him. Thou hast said, nevertheless, I said unto you. Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power. Check that out. Of power and coming of the clouds of heaven. Where is heaven? It's within you. So he's coming. The way he's coming back is through us in a glorified state. Let me know your comment or uh, what you think in the comment section below. I'm out.